Hey everyone, it's Shakira. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the magical powers of oud oil. So I found out about oud several months back, like back in the summertime. And so I'm really excited to give you guys just kind of a rundown about what to expect with oud oils and what not to expect, what companies to buy from. Well, actually, I have two companies that I'm going to be reviewing um today and i both i found them both on youtube one i found through share star goddess and she was reviewing their ouds and i went ahead and purchased my first purchase from the royal bloodline was the goddess worship and we just get right on into it i was very disappointed when i got this initially initially so first of all it's beautiful and when i came across oud i was um I was prompted to buy some because um, she was selling it really good. The description was really uh, good and I did some research on Oud. I went on the Royal Bloodline website and I was like, okay, I'm going to try some. By the way, if you're interested in this wig, um, I'll leave the info below. Go subscribe to my beauty channel, Shakira Lee Beauty, where I do beauty reviews. Anyhow. Um, she said, you know, it smells like like nothing she's ever smelled before and so on and so forth. So I bought it and this is incense coming in. I got some knock chompa going. Let me put it that way. Okay. So I bought it and then when I got it, I smelled it and I was like, I was like, hmm. So first of all, very perfumey. Okay, and at first I thought it was a like grandma-ish scent. But then I was like, well, she did say it's like nothing you've ever smelled before. And that's true. I've never smelled anything like goddess worship, but as you can see, I don't use it that much. And I got this way back in the summertime. I don't use it that much because I am not that huge of a fan of the scent. I put it like in candles and I use it that way because on my person, it doesn't smell that good but when i have worn it i do just a drop just a drop so i would say that this scent is a mature scent i would not say it's grandma i would say it's mature and it's for the evening not the day you know the evening and special occasions okay and when you want to feel like a goddess um so first before we continue the thing about the royal bloodline is that they have like themes for their ouds and so this is your goddess worship. So when you put this on, you know, get into the mind of a goddess. Um, you know, that should be the mode of, that should ha that should be how you feel when you apply this oil. So that was that. More mature women, um, yes, you probably like that. Um, but moving on. So because I was disappointed, I was like, okay, let me try something else. So I got the Oud of Heaven. And you're probably like, well, why do you have three? <laughs> First of all, um, I think I ordered when they had a sale because I love Oud of Heaven. And I've actually purchased about five from them as gifts and four for myself. I got one in the car and as you can see, three here. I keep one by my bedside. I keep two like where my other fragrances are in my closet and then I keep one in my car because that's how much I love Oud of Heaven. It is, oh, it smells like heaven. It smells, hold on. It's very light, so it's not like bam in your face. Like, um, <sighs> matter of fact, let's just go ahead and put some on. It's light, and this is the dropper situation. We'll talk about that in a second. It's not really a dropper, it's a stick. Um, so I just drop a little bit onto my wrist and lightly tap. <sighs> and it's light, it's like it smells, van it has vanilla notes. Um, slightly perfuming, slightly woody, and it's just my favorite. As you can see, I have all of these. I have purchased Inanna Rose as well, and I did not like that one. It was milky and thick, and I made a deodorant with that, and I also ordered some from my mother because she liked the scent, so she likes it, and she has ordered from them again as well. So... 
The last one I ordered from them was their Pombajira Oud. The difference I saw with this Oud and the others is that this is slightly, uh, has a slightly bigger bottle. Just slightly, like just slightly. And you know, just slightly. And I like this one, but when I first got it, I was like, why does it smell so familiar? Why does it smell so familiar? What is, and I just was smelling, smelling. And it's because I purchased the soap back when I purchased the Oud of Heaven. I purchased the soap and I like it, but it's very strong. You need a drop, a drop. I'm telling you, if you do two or more, you're going to, you're going to be just too much. You're going to be too much. So this is the Pombajir Oud. And then the other brand of Pomager Oud I got is from Miss Pravala here on YouTube. Both of these companies and people I found on YouTube. So we'll talk about the differences in a second. Um, Pomager, very strong. Cologne can be, I'd say this one is unisex because it, it's cologne, but it's also like kind of flowery and feminine just a little bit. It's bold and yeah so of the four that i've tried my fave is the oud of heaven if you are not sure about trying oud go with oud of heaven i feel like it is a safe one but it's also um it smells amazing okay it smells amazing it's still a powerful scent but it's not as strong as pomagera and uh goddess worship okay so on some of the videos i saw people saying oh i bought this and it didn't bring me money because the people that promote this product as well as the creators of the product say that it brings prosperity it brings you money it brings you a man um it brings you a man or a woman whatever you're into it, you know, just having it will bring you money. And no, just having it will not bring you money. Just ordering this is not going to bring you money. We, we just need to be clear about that. However, comma, what these companies promote is wealth and abundance. And they do rituals with their products and they push into their products, the energy of prosperity, the energy of whatever it is, the theme is around the Oud. And um, they do it on certain days. They do it on certain, you know, when the planets are aligned and the stars are aligned and stuff like that, certain hours, they do rituals. And if you watch their channel, Royal Bloodline, you can tell that they're very knowledgeable. Um, they're very knowledgeable at, at, and that's impressive and they're also promoting that their customer their their customer base you know get money you know they do money rituals they do rituals and um lectures on what they're doing and why they're doing it they do all sorts of stuff and all sorts of teachings which i really like and so that's how they connect with their audience and so of course the the idea with the oud is that it is ancient it is something um you know they have all the information on their website but you also should do your own research when it comes to purchasing food oils and products and from people that you know say oh if you use it it'll bring you money it'll blah 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 um what it is is a tool for helping you get what you want because a scent scent is very powerful and it can be an aphrodisiac for people um and just the scent of this will make you think of money if that's what you want it to do. If you want it to bring you money or a man or a job or whatever, it will bring you that. Because when you walk into the place for an interview, the boss might be might remember you more than they did the, you know, the other person, the other 10 people that came in. Wow, this woman came in smelling like heaven. This woman came in smelling like a goddess. This woman came in smelling like a sexual goddess and she's, she's sexy and I want her to work here, whatever the case may be. It's about the intention. So don't buy these oils thinking, oh, if I buy this, I'm going to bring money into my life. I mean, if you want you, it's the, it's about how you feel when you put it on It's and these aren't cheap either. So if you buy it, that means you're investing in yourself and you have to put intention into 
your own product when you get it, okay? They do their thing and then they set it free and, and hopes that their customers will use it for attracting money and whatever it is that you want. But don't buy it thinking, oh, I'm about to, I'm about to get rich because I got this. You got to do your part. You got to do your work. So anyway, you also want to research the um, origin of oud. What is it? It's made from agar wood. And it's a very rare, like I watched a documentary about it. Like, why is it so rare? Like, why is there such a big thing about oud? And so if you research it, you see that people are dying trying to get this agar wood to sell it. Like a teeny tiny, shoot, I don't even have a, you know, a teeny tiny chip of agar wood is a lot of money. And the, you know, anyway, you just got to watch it. So anyway, the next oud oil that I got is this uh, Pombajera Oud from Miss Pravala here on YouTube. And these are both Pombajera Ouds, but they are completely different, okay? As you can see, one is, um, one is smaller, one is way bigger. This one was $50, this one was $60. So you get way more on this one than you do on this one. This one is very perfumey. This one is not perfumey at all. So it can definitely be used by a man or a woman, but her ouds are also, and I'm not sure if she does rituals with her stuff, but I'm pretty sure she puts her stuff on, on, on her altar. Like I've seen some of her videos where she talks about other products that she's developed, but same thing. She, you know, promotes using this to, uh, um, bring prosperity into prosperity and wealth into your life using the oud and she has different rituals on her channel so on and so forth that you can use another major difference is the dropper situation i like this dropper um so you know you're able to drop it and i actually have been using this to moisturize my body i don't know what the oil is in here but this is a much lighter scent and it is a little peppery and woody and way less perfumey. I mean, I can't even, it's herby, it smells good, but this is not a perfume. This oud is not a perfume in my opinion. I also put it in my hair, not my, not my wigs, but my real hair. And I've also, you know, put this other oud in my hair as well. So the one thing I notice the difference between the two products is that this one seems more like straight up oud oil without the fragrance. I don't know where Royal Bloodline sources their oud, but she says she gets hers from Dubai and some places in South Africa, which is where she is located. And if you've heard of her and you were like, I want to order from her, but she's talking about two, three week shipping, you know, from South Africa, it did not take two, three weeks. It took about a week, about five days, about five days. I say about because I feel like it was a little less than five days, but five days, my oud was here, depending on where you're ordering from, it's going to be different. Of course, um, oud of Royal bloodline, quick shipping. I'm in Texas. I believe they're on the East coast. Every time I order from them, I get in less than five days, like three days. So yeah, I don't know where oud of Royal bloodline sources their ouds from, but she sources hers from Dubai and South Africa and somewhere else. But what y'all need to know about oud is that $60 for this one, $50 for this one is cheap compared to what people are paying overseas for the little chip of wood and for, you know, a teeny tiny amount. Like I've seen this amount go for $400 online. Like when I first found out about Oud, I started research researching it because a smart consumer will research it. Y'all can't just go by what YouTubers are saying because yes, some of us do get paid to promote certain products. Um, how, on my channel, I don't promote things and I don't talk about things that I don't either use on my own or I don't like. I get sent stuff all the time that I don't put on the channel because I don't like it, okay? But um, when someone's promoting something, something that you never heard of, just because they say, oh, it'll bring you money, 
you need to research it. So, um, oud though is an agar wood because oud is made with agar wood. I don't know exactly how, but the wood chip people over in Dubai in in Saudi Arabia, I don't know, and wherever these places are that that buy this wood. They just light the wood just like an incense. They light a little piece of wood. Oh, I got a bay leaf right here. They light a piece of wood this size that costs a whole lot of money and they just let it smoke. If you Google, and I'll, you know, I'll try to find it so I can put it in the description box. But they light this and they smoke it like they allow it to smoke like incense. So it's like. You know, know what you're buying. Be a smart consumer, you know, and don't get mad if when you get the product, you know, you don't get the results you thought you were going to get. Know that this sitting in my house is not about to bring me a whole bunch of money. Now, if I put my intent that every time I put this on, you know, when I leave the house, everybody's going to find me extremely attractive. And when I go for, a, you know, whatever... They're going to give me the job or they're going to give me the money. They're going to choose me over so-and-so and so-and-so. That is all prosperity and luck. You know, um, you, you just got to remember that, okay? Put your intention into your products when you get them. Use them strategically, like especially. Miss Pravala has lots of um, videos on how to use her products on her channel. You know, in candles and rituals on the body so on and so forth and you know she's about prosperity as well so that's why i really like both of these companies um but if you're looking for more perfumey perfumey go with you probably like oud of real bloodline better but if you're looking for earthy not so uh perfumey um unisex even though she her business is more geared towards women um, you will like this better. And you can also mix. Like, I, I'm mixing both Pomegeras. One couple drops of this and two drops of this, no more. Mix it, and after, the, after my bath, it is a beautiful scent. And you get the best of both worlds. And I love supporting, you know, small businesses and stuff like that, especially YouTubers. And you should, too. So I hope that you found this review helpful, detailed review helpful. Um, if you have additional questions or if you have some input, you can put them in, you can put it in the uh, comment section. As always, I thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.